So PERC stands for Passivated Emitter Rear Contact. And if I would explain the PERC technology in my own words, I would say that it that it redirects solar leakage. It reuses, it recycles, it redirects some of the solar power that's hitting the panel and that is not directly being converted into electricity. So it's taking some of the the initially unused solar power and redirects it so that it can still squeeze a little bit more electrical energy out of that solar power. Now the PER technology has proven to work so well that it's basically become the industry standard. Um, so if you're looking at a panel and it is not a PERC photovoltaic module, then you might be looking at a module which is of an older batch. Um, so let's go to the whiteboard again and let's me, let me use a, a visual way, a graphic way again, in order to explain to you how the PER technology actually works. So we start off with a standard semiconductor photovoltaic cell, uh, like the one we looked at before. So we have a semiconductor, a positive and a negative side as a result of the doping. Then we have the PN junction, so the layer in between the positive and negative side. And we place the, we sandwich it in between the bus bar so that we can actually create an electrical circuit. We understand this by now, right? And now we want to upgrade this photovoltaic cell with the PER technology, so the passivated emitter rear contact. So what we're doing is on the rear side of the photovoltaic cell, so the side that is not receiving the direct sunlight, we are placing an extra layer, the PERC layer, because what's happening as the solar power is hitting the cell, um, some of it is being converted into electricity at the PN junction, but some of these sunbeams, some of this solar energy is actually pushing through the PN junction and then it's not being used anymore, right? So then if we're placing the spirit layer at the rear side of the solar cell, we're turning the solar solar rays, we're turning them around and sending them back towards the PN junction again, right? Because remember, the magic happens at the PN junction. This is where you're creating electricity. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go ahead again. So by placing the, the perk layer there, you're turning the uh, the solar leakage that's going through the PN junction and not doing anything, you're turning it around, sending it back towards the PN junction so that it can still create a little bit more electricity. And I mean, it's a little bit more, but it's still more. So in general, you can get 1% more out of a solar cell by applying the perk layer on the rear side of the photovoltaic cell. Now, the 1% might not sound like a lot, but it's definitely enough reason for the, the production lines in the factory to be adjusted. And uh, like I said, almost all of the panels nowadays, they come with the PER technology included. So that's what PERC Passivated Emitter Rear Contact Technology stands for and how it works. And I just want, briefly want to show you the panel that we, we looked at before, uh, because here you can see that in the description itself, you can already see that it says monocrystalline and PERC. So now you can kind of place, you can kind of understand what all these terms uh, mean, right? So this concludes the small subchapter on PERC. Now let's look on the second technology, the second kind of upgrade you could consider for your panel, which is the heterojunction technology. And in full, it's described as the heterojunction with intrinsic thin layer, or HIT. Uh, so at the moment, the HIT...